So Donald Trump rolling out a not-so-secret weapon in the final stretch of the race for the White House. His wife, Melania Trump, made a rare solo campaign appearance yesterday in Pennsylvania. Here's some of that. Donald travels the country. He has asked some simple but very important questions. Do we want president who is beholden to no one but you, the American people? Tony Thag is a Republican strategist. Julie Roginski is a Democratic strategist and both are Fox News contributors. Hi, guys. Hi. Good, morning, Good to see you. So let see me start you. with you, Julie. How do you think she did yesterday? I thought she did well. Um, you know, I think the topic is a little um, not self-aware. I think talking about Internet bullying when her husband has maybe not been the best actor on that issue, and she herself has not been a great actor on that issue with respect to a reporter named Julia Yaffe who wrote a profile of her that she considered to be unfair, and she... When asked about why trolls were trolling Julia Yaffe, said she brought it on herself. So, you know, I'm not sure that the Trumps, both of them, are great messengers on this issue, but it is an important topic. I wish people would take it more well, seriously. Um, they, they've lived the attacks on both sides and have fought back. Maybe there are some things that they might regret about the way they did that, but it, um, I think it's a pretty serious issue in the country, especially when it comes to teenagers. And she was talking primarily about her son. Mm -hmm. um, and I agree with you that it was a little bit sort of, oh, mm -hmm. we're going there yeah. when she started doing that, <laughs> given what we've seen. Um, um, coming out of the, the Twitter feeds uh, at, at the Trump Tower from time to time. But um, how do you think she do you think, was she effective? And I guess my biggest question, Tony, is will they, if this doesn't go the way that they would like it to go, will they regret not bringing her out there more and earlier? I, for one, have always believed Melania should have been on the campaign trail earlier. I think she is extraordinarily uh, effective and a very sympathetic character in telling the personal side of Donald Trump, who is a celebrity in many regards, uh, and people sometimes draw their own conclusions. But when you see the family side, as we saw with the kids during the convention, it really does give a much more positive aspect. I think what Melania, frankly, didn't want to do is put herself in the middle of this entire campaign, which has been largely negative uh, toward her husband from the left. And and look, she's been very honest. She has a son who's 10 years old. That's her priority. I understand that. You know, not every political spouse goes into the arena uh, as fiercely as a warrior. But she's coming in at the exact right time and in the exact right place. This whole Women for Trump effort is targeting areas like suburban Philadelphia, Montgomery, the Ring counties, Delaware, Chester, Bucks, because this is where you have to convince enough women to support Donald Trump, and then therefore you have a larger chance to win the state. Look at Ohio, where now the recent polling shows a lot of women. Women are supporting Donald Trump almost and, you equally. Know, to I, Hillary I do think that it makes a difference. I mean, I know women who live in these suburbs who are on the fence, and I think when they do see the family, it does have meaning to them. And you know, Melania Trump, I think you see her at first, and she's sort of intimidating. She's so beautiful, and you know, supermodel and everything. But when she speaks, she's very sincere, and she talks about her feelings for the country. She said, "I came to America, uh, but that wasn't enough for me. I wanted to be an American." And I, I thought that was very powerful. You know, I think she's got a fantastic personal story. I agree largely with everything that Tony said. She is a huge asset as, as Ivanka. Look, Hillary Clinton's firewall in this election is white college educated yeah. women. She's up by 27 points. Romney won that same demographic by six. And so in order for Donald Trump to win, he's got to get those people on his side. Melania is a great example of that. Ivanka is a great example of that. I don't for the life of me understand other why they didn't, why why they weren't out there more. Yeah. I, I completely agree. Um, now let's turn to a woman who has very much embraced the role of being at the heart and center of politics and that's Uma Abedin uh, who I think everybody has some sympathy for. I mean what what a couple of years it's been for this woman. She has been through quite a bit. Um, she was basically in hiding over the last several days that it came out. You know, I mean, you couldn't write the twist to this story that the thousands and thousands of emails that they found were on a laptop that was used by Anthony Weiner, uh, I think someone whose behavior is despicable um, and who is still being investigated um, by the FBI. So she made an appearance last night. She did uh, come out at a fundraiser in Washington, D.C. I think we have some video of that. But, you know, Tony, you suggest that there's, there's more to the next shoe to drop in the Uma Abedin story, perhaps. There's absolutely no doubt, Martha. If you look at the fact that the FBI is already dismissing this idea that most of these emails are duplicates. A lot of these emails are brand new information, according to reading the tea leaves coming out from the FBI. Huma Abedin has been at the intersection of Clinton, Inc. and Clinton World. She worked at the State Department and the Foundation at one point simultaneously. So three things are going to happen ultimately with this investigation. And yes, on a human level, I sympathize. 
But these are choices she made to blindly align herself with Hillary Clinton and potentially um, the detriment of her own family, particularly her son, her six-year-old son. She could either basically get away with it, which is doubtful. She could either cooperate with the state, which I think is probably the most damning of wow. all opportunities because she does want to protect her family. And or, there's nobody or, who knows more about what goes on in uh, Clinton world than, than Uma Abedin, and there's no doubt on, that they would want to speak to her. Correct. Or she falls on the sword, which I don't see her necessarily having the interest in doing. And Hillary's been treating her, I think, rather sh sh shabbily. She calls her a staffer now. I mean, Huma Abedin, anybody who understands her role in Clinton world, is hardly just a staffer. She's the vice chair, actually, of the Clinton campaign. You know, I think it's really unfair to say that Huma Abedin's child is somehow being, there's a detriment because of Hillary Clinton. There's a detriment no. because his father is, I, I can't say words that I would want to describe his father on national television, but the reality is his father is somebody who put him in a horrible situation, was lying in bed with him while, while texting with a 15-year-old girl. And so if you want to blame somebody, let's not blame Hillary Clinton. So I, let's I go not to who Abedin's son. The other thing I want to I say is... I was suggesting that she know, won't fall on the sword you don't, maybe because of you that. You don't know what the tea leaves are in this FBI investigation and what the emails say because they just got a subpoena to read them. So unless the FBI read those emails without a subpoena, which would be illegal, we actually don't know what those emails are duplicates or not because the FBI hasn't investigated But we yet. do know nonetheless that they were on that device. They were on that device. The question Which is, is how, did, how did they get on that device? Did Anthony yeah. Weiner put that on the you device? All of our Who stuff knows? is everywhere, right? With yeah. the iCloud. I mean, you, you know, you could think that you know where everything is, but unless you have tracked every single device, and it is surprising that the mm -hmm. FBI wouldn't have done uh, that and cleared every single device out of all of these people's um, houses is, is, is pretty interesting. But uh, more shoes to drop, to be sure. Interesting stuff. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks. Both of you. Thanks, Great Martha. to see you both. So